What's up guys? Check out my new boots. Did I tell you guys about these yet? You guys ever buy Christmas presents for yourself? I did. I love Corral boots. The design and the detail is unmatched and it's so cool they're now made in America. When I first started liking them they were a Mexico company. So I think, oh, hey tripod. <laughs> So I'm really, really excited that now they're out of Texas, so I felt even better spending my money on them and treat myself to a Christmas gift. Okay guys, my life is a cooking show pretty much because all I do is cook anymore. But we're going to make some keto pancakes today. Like with one gram net carbs because I don't eat carbs anymore. That's right, I don't eat carbs anymore. <laughs> so I can't decide which one to do. Let's do this one. That was actually easy because it was in front. We're just going to do this one. I have a couple different pancake mixes. We'll try the one, other one another time. Okay, so let's read the instructions. To make four pancakes, you need a third cup of mix, one egg, one tablespoon milk, one teaspoon unsalted butter, and vanilla. Well, I don't know if we have all those. What's this one say? Hmm. One. Just kidding, we're actually doing this one because I don't have some of those ingredients, vanilla and all that. So this one's a little bit simpler and it's still good. Half cup makes a serving. Pancakes. You need an egg, a tablespoon water, a tablespoon oil, and a half cup of the mix. We can do that. Okay, apparently the memory keeps running out on my memory card, but I deleted some old things and we whisked it up. I put a little bit more milk in it, than, or water in it, than it said to make it a little more creamy. Let's get to cooking. Okay, we gotta do a little bit of dishes. Done. 
you while she's warming up, let's talk about the keto way to have these pancakes. Obviously, if you don't do keto, or you just eat whatever you want, just do that. <laughs> have some maple syrup for me. This Walden Farm stuff you guys might have heard of, zero calorie, zero sugar, zero everything. Check them out. If they're not in your grocery store, you can also get them on Amazon. They're in my grocery store in Utah, but they weren't here, so I had to get them on Amazon. Really good little way to still have your favorite things. But in the best way possible, without ruining your goals. And then for butter, uh, keto diet, butter, butter is pretty much good. I don't need a ton of it, but it doesn't hurt you at all on the keto diet. So, just get good quality grass-fed butter like I got. Okay, these look so good. I haven't had pancakes in forever. They look so good. I'm so excited right now. I can still make a couple more. But they smell so good. Like my syrup warm. That's an easy way to make it warm. And it's getting hot. I am so excited to eat these right now. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you guys. It was good, but it wasn't like make me want to eat pancakes all the time good definitely serves as a good quick fix like i said if you're just craving it and it's better than cheating it was decent just not as fluffy as good old aunt jemima but it was still good don't get me wrong and it's a different kind of sweet like keto uses these other sweeteners to, that don't raise your glycemic index and they're actually way better for you they just are a different kind of sweet if you guys have tried something like this before, let me know. You've probably been there. Well, there you have it, you guys. I'm going to end the video right there. Got to get up early, go to the gym, go fishing, do the routine. But um, it was good. Definitely not knock your socks off good, but considering what's in it, it was pretty dang good. And I'm full. And I'm ready for bed. Please comment below if you guys want to hear more about keto stuff or more healthy, healthy treat options. I have a lot of them up my sleeve because I've been having them in desperate times. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Remember, it's Vlogmas, so I have videos every single day. And feel free to let me know what you want to see in a video because I listen and I read all your guys' comments. And I try my best to get back to all of them. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.